Hi people, today is Saturday. I am about to leave the house now. I'm going to get a facial done and this is the first time I'm getting a facial done in my entire life. Okay, let's let, let me play that back in my entire life. And when I do videos, you guys say, oh, can you, your skin looks so good. But my people, you need facials. You actually need facials. I struggle with white heads especially and I know that I would not struggle as much if I was getting facials done you know often i'm on my way to look low aesthetics they are in victoria island they also have another branch in magodo so if you're on the mainland you can go to their branch in magodo or if you're on the island you can go to their branch in victoria island so in october i put up a post on my ig stories and i said please recommend a place where i can get a facial done and so i'm settling with this one eventually um, so we'll see how it goes i'm supposed to get a facial and i'm also supposed to get a massage i think so we'll see how that goes So let me take you through what my very first facial experience at Sigma Spa by Luglo was like. Um, so I went in, the entrance first of all is a vibe. I love that, so that was a very good first impression. So I went in and then I confirmed my appointment. Um, and then I was asked to just sit down and then they served me mint tea before they came and ushered me in. Um, so this is the massage room, which I'm still coming to, but I just looked in on my way to get ready for my facial. Um, and then there was a sauna as well, and this sauna just reminded me of my very first sauna experience with my mom. Um, yeah, it just brought back <laughs> memories. Um, so I changed into towels since I was going to get a massage after the facial. I didn't know what to expect, but... I was mostly looking forward to the extraction because I was feeling like my skin was congested. So the licensed esthetician did a consultation which I really liked. She asked me about the products I was using and what my routine was like in the morning and at night and then we started. So the first thing that she did was she did a skin analysis and then she cleansed my skin. So I made sure I asked her as we went along because I always want to have a good idea of what's being done. Um, so she mentioned that I had like dryness on my forehead. Um, so she cleansed my skin and then she did a suction. And then after the suction, they steamed my face. The is done to make it easy for us to extract. So it sort of helps to soften the comedones so that we can extract the blackheads and the whiteheads. I'm extracting the comedones. Now this is to infuse back nutrients or into the skin. So. So once we did the serum infusion, she used this thing called radio frequency, which I learned is good for reduction of wrinkles because it increases collagen. And then she did the cold hammer. This one I remember so well because it was so cold and it was so soothing. So it's supposed to calm your skin down if you have any redness or like tension from the previous procedures. But look at how healthy and supple my skin looks. So they went in with a jelly mask and then I went under this LED light, which also helps with anti-aging and healing. If you use my code Chi Glow, you get a whooping 20% off if you come to Sigma Spa by Luglo. They have one on the island and they have one in Magodo as well, so you can go to any of them. Now this offer lasts from now till the end of December. So once I was done with that, I went into the sauna for a bit and then I went to get a massage. So I got the hot stone massage and this was so soothing, you guys. Oh, I, re I really needed this. My body really needed this. Okay, so this is Nurse Izine and she's going to tell us the other services and treatments that they provide here at um, Spa by Luglu. We offer medical and weight loss, chemical pills, microneedling. The medical weight loss is we use a semaglutide, that's Zempic. We okay. have a lipolysis for targeted fat reduction to reduce fat in unwanted places. Certain parts of okay. Yes, okay. like the tummy, the arm, thighs, okay. not overall weight loss okay. or targeted fat reduction. Okay. We do IV therapy. We do fillers. Okay. But I want fuller leaves. Okay. Defined face. We do botox for removal of wrinkles. Okay. Um, cheek um, 
slimming if you want your face to slim okay. um, also offer hyperhidrosis treatment oh, that's that? excessive sweating uh -huh. using okay i've heard about acid. that yes, okay i've heard about that acid. Okay. so what it just does is just to block the sweat glands that's how it works okay so, okay Thank you. Yeah, and you didn't tell him you're a registered nurse. Please let us <laughs> Sorry, know. I'm a registered nurse. I'm not just a registered nurse. I mean, I studied nursing in university. I'm a university trained nurse. Okay. So I'm a registered nurse. I'm a unique wife. Mm, and nice. I'm also an aesthetic nurse. Okay, nice. Nice to meet you, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. I would definitely want to come back for more and just, you know, make sure that I, I include this in my self-care routine. So I was so hungry, I went to eat. And of course, I did not drive because there was no way I was going to enter the madness that is Lagos traffic after this princess treatment. I've had such a long day. Um, it's actually past 11, 11.25 p.m. Okay. Yeah, and I got back home quite early. I got back home by... I think 8.13 or so, um, I stopped over at Party Locks to pick up a few things that were very, very, very necessary. I buy stuff from Party Locks a lot and the chalk marker that I use for our chalkboard, we've run out of it. I have been struggling with these things. Anytime I want to write, and this is so important to me because this is how I write on the board so that Monica knows what to make for the girls in the morning or even in the afternoon or in the evening. Like They just know what to do. So when I write stuff on the board, even if I'm busy, they kind of plan around it. So if I maybe write beans, they know that they have to pick beans and put it in the pressure cooker. These markers are so important to me, but I have three of them and they've run out. At some point, I have to I open the cover and then put more water inside, shake it, shake it, shake it, use it to write, and I've been struggling. So Artilog delivery is very annoying. They deliver for 4000 or four five right now, I can't remember. So I just stopped over in Kui on my way to the spa. I just rushed in and I rushed out. But these two um, Christmas trees, mini Christmas trees. This was one five and this was one thousand naira. So I bought chalk markers. I bought four of them. They are just seven fifty. So you can imagine me needing four of these and then having to pay four thousand naira to get them delivered to me. I also want to darken my board. I don't know how to darken this. Um, my friend suggested charcoal, but charcoal will not work because when we want to clean off the chalk marker, we use a damp rag so charcoal just means the rag is just going to take off the charcoal when we are cleaning it so i have read that you can use um chalk paint i don't know if i can get chalk paint here in nigeria i'm guessing i'm going to add it to my list of if people ask me what should they buy for me from their abroad yeah because i have a list like that because sometimes when people ask me what should i buy for you because i don't even know what i want people to buy for me so now i have a list where if i'm looking for something and i know i might not find it here or it's not easily accessible i have a list so i think this is going to enter my list it's always a bit difficult to come out the very first time so quaker oats with bananas and apples so we'll be having for breakfast tomorrow then for lunch we're having um Rice, salad, and stew. Done that. Let me go to bed. Good night. See you guys. videos where someone said she wanted to have an idea what the cost of living is like in Nigeria. I have some time on my hands so let's see how much stuff, how much groceries 77,000 naira can get you in Nigeria from a grocery store. So usually if you go to markets you would get some of these things slightly cheaper but the difference is not so much. So this was just very random um, just for a couple of things that we needed here and there. So yeah let's let's see how much stuff we get how much we can get for seven seven thousand naira. I got this storybook from the author. Um, she was actually there. Um, I just saw the book. Well, I didn't see the book. She came up to me. She approached me and said she wrote the book. So it just says the book that reflects children' experiences at home. In the book, um, the characters show the readers how they enjoy spending time with their family. It also tells teaches children the practical and important ways of caring for themselves, their belongings, and their surroundings. So I think that was actually the major reason why I bought it, because I'm like my my daughters would, you know, this would be very useful to them. Um, they also say she believes that taking care of ourselves and helping out with chores at home helps every child to develop life skills that lead to a happier, more successful, and fulfilled life. So you can tell the reason why I bought it, Tabby. Okay, let's go.
That's all. That's it, you guys. 77,000 naira. That's it. This used to be one and a half. When I put this in here, I would have this and then I would have another half. But can you see? It doesn't even fill it up again. So it just keeps on reducing. Voila. The two packs will fit into two of them. Look for the second one. Hi you guys, good morning. I slept by 2 a.m. And actually what woke me up was something felt like I had Makam on the floor. I'm like, what could that be? That was I think maybe by five. I was just like, what could that be? And I got up and I started looking around. First of all, when I came down from my bed, I, I, I jumped because I stepped on something. I'm like, is that a cockroach or what could it be? I turned on the lights and I was just looking around and guess what this was? My anklet. My anklet fell off my ankle and then dropped on the floor. So that was the that was okay. Because it dropped and it rattled. I was like, ah, rattle snake. <laughs> it was just weird. Anyway. So yeah, I want to start my day very early, but I also wanted to make from God, you guys, children are something. My children have learned two things over the last couple of weeks and I have not heard the last of it. Mommy is it not true that a female dog is called a bitch? Yes, it's true, but do you have to say it all the freaking time? And then the second one is, oh, um, Videra said they read one comprehension in their class. One man was smoking mar mar marijuana. That's how she called it, marijuana. And that she too, she wants to smoke marijuana. I'm like, hold up. Victoria, about, please, can you, can you not say that? Because I'm like, okay, I think it was taught maybe under drug abuse or something like that. And she's like, oh, me too. I want to take marijuana. What the, what the heck? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, children. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That day I was dumbfounded. I did. I was like, no, 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 no. You don't say that. First of all, it's not even a good thing. It can kill you. And she's like, but I would like to smoke my own. I'm like, what? Girl, if you don't shut up. Anyway, I hope you guys are good wherever you are. Um, if your day is not looking great, remember, there's tomorrow, my people. There's tomorrow. Some days feel like shit. My yesterday was feeling like shit. It was feeling like the shittiest shit ever. And towards the evening, you know, something just, you know, brightened my mood. Yesterday, I was just like, God, what's like... What's your plan for my life? Because, and I don't know if I've mentioned this thing, but anytime I'm having certain like concerns or worries, I just noticed that I would come across a word that would address that fear or address that concern. And not only that, my devotional most time, what am I saying? 98% of the time my devotional will address that concern let me see if I can get my devotional for yesterday so I can read it out to you guys so you understand I was worrying yesterday and I was like god what is what is like you know like me what did they happen only for me to see um, the devotional so this this was the word for the devotional yesterday O oh Lord, thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul. Lamentations two verse um, Lamentations three verses fifty eight. 
and then i'm just going to just maybe read out like a, a few parts in it so it's not too long it says observe how positively the prophet speaks he does not say i hope i trust i sometimes think that god has pleaded the causes of my soul but he speaks of it as a matter of fact not to be disputed thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul so it says let us by the aid of the gracious comforter shake off those doubts and fears which so much mar our peace and comfort this was legit like less than five minutes after i had this thought i was just like i just thought i was like oh my god like god what is going on like what's what's your plan what's what what direction are you taking me to what what are you what are you trying to say to me i need to hear it loud and clear and then this 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 came up like that's shake off those doubts and fears with so much more uh, peace and comfort it was almost like god gave me a knock on my head like girl shut up shut up shut up <laughs> anyway um let me get on with my day the girls have gone to school actually the reason why i took my bath very early this morning was because i made jello spaghetti and i was smelling of fried stew fried tomato and pepe and there was no way i was going to hang around in that i yeah i really need an extractor do extractors take off smell i don't know because i really hate smelling like the food i cook so most times i do once i cook i don't wear my clothes again because i i don't like to walk around smelling like stew or smelling like yuru or palm oil so i just you know took my bath immediately but yeah you guys have a good day i love you i will see you when next i turn on my camera mm. Since, uh, I have, I have for fufu and granite soup um, around that age. Why am I sitting home? Mm. She just dropped her sister off at the airport this morning. We came back. Mm. Because she her brother. She just came to eat. Eh? She just came to eat. Eh, FFF. Yes. F -F. yes, I agree. I Fair for food. Eh, you started. What? <laughs> Wait, so I'm holding for like this. Is, don't know that I'm videoing you. Which one is your club? You can't tell us. Say I'm going. I don't understand. Yes. Are you going to breastfeed your chickens? Oh my. I have, uh, I have something I'm doing with Mama. Six days ago, like the last time your grandpa came, she changed it. Now tired, I'm tired. Let's cook. I'm making beans. I'm making stew. And I'm making fish. We're having titles fish with the beans. So yeah, let's cook. <laughs>